Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about built-in data structures in Python. In this lesson uh, we will not talk about uh, what those structures are and when you need to use them and when you don't. Uh, in this lesson we'll talk uh, just about them, how uh, you can define them and how you can populate them with elements and how you can call them. So in Python programming language there are four built-in data structures. First data structure is list. How can we define list? Uh, we'll say for example we'll make variable my list and we'll call Python's built-in function list which will create uh, an empty list and store it to my list. If we now try to call our my list variable, we will notice that our list is empty and list is stored inside curly braces. If we want to populate our list with elements, uh, we'll use that same brackets and we'll put inside those brackets any elements, for example, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And if we want to call our list, my list, then elements of that list uh, will be printed to our idle. Okay, now second built-in data structure in Python is a dictionary. You, let's create one dictionary, for example my dict equals and let's call dictionary built-in dictionary function dict that will create an empty dictionary and let's store it into variable my dict. Okay, let's say my dict. Let's show what we have now in an empty dictionary. Uh, an empty dictionary is represented by curly by empty curly braces and if we want to populate our dictionary we'll use that same curly braces and we'll put some elements inside it for example letter A A is the first and letter B is the second for example that's simple example with some random values. I pick up some random values and now let's see uh, what we have in our into our my dict variable. Uh, now my dict variable or dictionary is populated with those elements. Okay, now the third built-in data structure in Python is a set. Let's make one set, for example, my set equals and let's call again built-in function set which creates an empty set and store it to the variable my set if we call our variable um, my set sorry if we call variable my set without parentheses uh, we will see that in python programming language empty set is represented by value set 
with empty parentheses. It's a little bit strange, but that's how creators of Python decided to uh, make some symbol that represents an empty set. Okay, let's populate our set. Uh, we'll use the uh, same curly braces as uh, we did in um, uh, working with a dictionary type of data. Let's say 3, 5 and 6 are elements of our set and now let's call our variable my set and that's variable as we can now see is populated with elements 3 5 and 6 and as you can see uh, dictionary data and set data are stored in the same braces and if we want to work with them and to populate them we'll use same curly braces and that is one of the reasons because if we have uh, an empty dictionary we'll get result with empty curly braces and if we have an empty set we cannot use that same empty curly braces to define that our set is empty so in python programming language they decided to use set uh, with empty parentheses as value uh, that represents that uh, set is empty and finally we have uh, the fourth data structure in python programming language which is tuple let's make an empty tuple by calling built-in function tuple if we call our my tuple variable we'll see that our tuple is empty and values of tuple are stored inside parentheses so if we want to populate our tuple we'll use parentheses and we'll put inside it some values for example numbers 1 3 and 5 and if we call my tuple will get as result our tuple populated with those numbers so that's it for this lesson in this lesson we talked about four built-in data structures in python thanks for watching happy coding